Here I'm using my Glorious Face and Eye Primer. And I'm just rubbing it all over my face. This will help the appearance of a minimized pore and make your makeup last all day. Now I'll use our Touch Mineral Concealer in Velour under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose and on my chin and under the eyebrows to brighten up my face. I've already done my eyebrows with our brow liner in medium. We want to make sure we just blend it out. I'm using my finger, but you can always use a blender sponge. Unique sells those as well. I always use one color lighter on my concealer than I use on my liquid foundation or my powdered foundation or even my BB cream because I like it to look a little bit brighter. So now I'm grabbing my liquid foundation or what we call the liquid gold in the color taffeta. And I'm gonna apply it with our powder puff brush. Comes in a little dropper, so I'm just gonna do about four drops. And this color is available again on April 25th to order. So I'm just gonna dab it all over my face right on top of that liquid concealer and just blend it all in a circular motion. This concealer is so light and smooth, no stickiness. It dries to a powder finish, so it feels like you're wearing virtually nothing on your face. Perfect for the summer, perfect for the hot climate that we live in. I'm moving the camera just so you guys can see a more even color light. Um, I try to do most of my videos in natural lighting and today I'm in the bathroom so just blending it out always want to make sure you get that neckline really well your eyelids so that all your face is one even skin tone color now I'm gonna go in and contour with my bronzer in Malibu it's called our beachfront bronzer and I would probably use our blusher brush which is angled for this um, I'm just using a regular Sephora brand brush. I'm going to go in my cheeks, under my chin, and around my hairline on both sides. And I'm using the more luminous, luminescent side. There is a matte side, and then there's a shimmery side. I'm going to use the shimmery. And we'll do the other side just the same. You can contour for a more intense look with the matte side. You can also use a dark BB cream or a dark concealer and you want to go down the outsides of your nose and connect up to the eyebrow. So now you want to blend this all out with our powder puff brush. I tend to like a more natural look on Saturdays. I lease apartments and I think that you're a little bit more relatable when you don't have such a dramatic makeup look. Just for sake of time, I've been doing this trick. Um, I'm going to be using my beachfront bronzer again as a eyeshadow on the crease. This time I'm using the matte side and it just works really well with my skin tone. Um, the burnt orange is obviously perfect for University of Texas being right down the street and I just really love the way this color looks. It's sort of like a light bronzed brown. And now I'm going to use one of our favorite um, new products. It's our Precision Liquid Liner in Precarious, which is the blue. And this is literally the easiest liquid liner I have ever used. In this video, I'm not even using a mirror. I'm just using my phone. Um, and it's still super easy. So I draw a line and then I fill it in and I start about midway on the eye. And as you can see, even though it's blue, it still goes really well with the makeup look that I'm doing. 
and I'm just going to line the lower lash line just a little bit, not as thick as I did on the top, just to make those lashes look a little bit thicker down there. And now for the grand finale, the uh, 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, which finishes any look. Um, it looks good by itself. Um, mine is old. Mine's about three months old. I'm about to open my new one. So I'm going to spray one spray on the wand, one spray in the tube just to keep that um, gel a little bit more moist. It's able to spread a little bit more. And the steps are gel first, apply like your regular mascara. I'm going to get in just a little bit closer here so you guys can see a little bit better. And while the lashes are still wet, you're going to want to apply the fibers. And the fibers are fortified with our Uplift Serum. So it's actually helping your lashes grow versus using maybe an eyelash extension or a glue that's going to prevent your eyelashes from growing. It might create breakage. So the fibers are going to stick to the wet transplanting gel. And you just apply it like regular mascara. The technique that I use to apply is I sort of roll up so that all the fibers can stick and then we're going to go ahead and seal it with our gel just one more time. They are not clumpy, they're super long. I'm not going to do the other eye just for lack of time, but um, always finish your makeup off with a lip gloss. This is our lucrative lip gloss and it actually has healing um, oils for your lips if your lips are chapped. And I will post a finished product picture. Thanks for watching.